Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the Spring MBC at the rate uh, path variable annotation. So we'll try to understand how path variable annotations works in Spring MBC application. And to understand that, just I'm going to create a web-based application. So let's create a web-based application by selecting dynamic web project and project name i'm going to specify uh, path variable web app uh, path variable spring mvc web app and click on the next again click on the next and finally click on the finish button and here in this project I'm going to copy some of the files and dependent jars from previous project. So here in leave folder, I'm going to copy all required jars. So just I'm copying most of the files from the uh, previous uh, demo project. So if you did not watch my previous uh, videos, then I request you to go and watch my previous video tutorial. So here I have dumped all jars, dependent jars in the leave folder now let's copy this uh like views folder dispatches servlet and web.xml from this project as well so that i'm going to copy within, within the web INF. and if you required some modification in these files then that we will do again and here we have a controller package so java class i'm not going to copy from previous example so here you have a web.xml they are I have configured dispatcher servlet uh, uh, which works as a uh, MVC controller in Spring framework so that you will have to register. So I hope you know how to register uh, servlet in web.xml. First of all you will need to register the servlet like servlet and servlet start and in tag you need to specify servlet name and servlet qualified package name. And again in servlet mapping you need to specify the servlet name again this should match and url pattern so here i have given the url pattern as slash so any request comes from the ui then uh, dispatcher servlet is going to intercept right now we have a spring configuration file a spring web configuration file and that is called dispatcher servlet.xml and here i had specified some package like for auto scanning so i'm going to create this package where i'm i'll put my all uh, controller and here i have registered internal resource view resolver who is responsible basically uh, responsible to resolve the view name law i mean physical uh, view name so there we have given the prefix and suffix and this is already i had explained in the previous video tutorial so let's create a, a package uh, i'm going to create a controller in this package com.infotech.controller and controller name i'm going to specify uh, something is called user controller user controller okay so it's a plain class and this class i'm going to annotate as at the rate controller annotation sorry which is the stereotype annotation right so now once you annotate this class with at the rate on at the rate controller annotation then this class serves as a controller mvc controller and here first of all i'm gonna use a method is called public and return type would be model and view uh, i need to specify i mean view name logical view name as well as i need to send some data and that view so that's why i'm taking model and view else you can take a, a string as well return type as well so here model and view and here i would say uh, something is called grid so it's a method name and here what i'll do so in previous video tutorial i have shown you how to use at the rate request param annotation so in this video tutorial we'll see how to make use of the at the rate uh, path variable annotation right so now this method I'm going to annotate as at the rate request map request 
mapping and request mapping takes a lot of parameters like value here i'm going to specify the uh, now this controller i'm going to specify here also i'm going to use request mapping so and in request mapping i'm going to specify users right so users right and here i'm going to specify user slash and uh, i want to pass some parameter uh, and that that will be the part of the uh, url itself so that is called a path variable and path variable we can collect in uh, back in like this curly bracket open and curly bracket close and here i would say user sorry user name something like this and slash i would say uh, user name and uh, uh, age or uh, i'm going to collect as well age right so two parameter one is type of string another is type of integer uh, and here you can specify the method as well so method if you do not specify then method would be the get itself so still i'm going to specify method get explicitly so request method i'm going to specify as get even though if you do not specify any method then http method get will be there now these two parameters so what would be the url of this method so users slash user and after that you can send some name of the user and slash users uh, age and these two parameters i want to calculate i want to uh, capture in the as a method parameter right that's the significance of uh, uh, path variable so here you have a annotation is called path variable right and here path variable in bracket you can specify username and this would be the type of uh, string itself right and now second parameter again i'm going to use path variable itself and uh, here i would like to collect age of the user right and that is the type of integer so here type conversion will be automatically done by the spring framework so whatever things is coming from the ui we are assuming that is coming in the uh, uh string itself right as we do in the serve in the case of servlet but a spring mbc has capability to convert a, a string to corresponding data type so directly instead of a string we can take the integer itself right and here return i'm going to specify a new a model and view so i'm going to use the constructor which takes view name model name and object model object itself so we have already ui right uh, which i had created in the previous video welcome page right so here i'm going to use this ui welcome page itself that is already there okay so i would say this is logical view name and you don't need to give the extension because this is logical and uh, what i'll do uh, sorry here this message should come from the controller so this model name is a welcome message and here i'm going to prepare the message right so here you can write hello and i would like to print out the username username something like this and i would say you are yes Old, right so basically this is just i have prepared a message hello username xyz you are you are xyz years old right so this message will uh, be displayed on the welcome page jsp with this we are and we are retrieving this message complete method with this key on the uh, welcome page right so it's pretty straightforward right now thing is that how to run this controller right so now let's go ahead and run this program so if you run it then initially we'll get 404 error right because we don't have any welcome page in this project 
Now what would be the our URL pattern? So after context, you will have to specify. Uh, so on controller level, we have a, a URL, URLs, URIs, slash users, and then slash users, you will have to specify. And again, you will go under the request handler method. Then again, you have a user, then slash user. So basically, this is the way basically we form the UI, URI, uh, when you work with the RESTful web services, right? So basically, path variable basically we use uh, when you work with the RESTful web services. And uh, suppose uh, you are a consumer of RESTful web services, and there is some RESTful web services which is posted on the internet, right? And you get the URI using that URI, you can invoke that web, RESTful web services. So basically, if you are a consumer, then you need to write a Java program, you need to write a client program, and there you need to form this kind of URI, right? So web services basically, when we use web services, when we have a two application wants to interact with each other, so rather than human consumption, basically one application wants to consume data from the another application, uh, is there is there is a uh, business to business communication, then web service comes into a picture, right? So basically when we'll try to learn uh, RESTful web services, right? We have a REST controller, right? In a Spring MVC as well. So when we'll try to learn REST controller in future video tutorial, then this concept will come into the picture. So that's why I'm trying to cover this concept here itself. Now you have a slash user and after slash user, I'm going to specify the username soon and age I'm going to specify as a 40. And if I press enter, then See, you get the output, hello, shown you are 40 years old, right? So this way you can pass a path variable like this, right? So when you use path variable, then here you can see we are using path variable. Along with path variable, also you can pass, a, a, if you want to send some kind of query parameter, right? So as we have learned already, add the rate request param and uh, add the request param basically helps you to uh, collect the query parameter. So when you send the request to the get method, then you can pass the query parameter as well. So here I'm going to modify this and I'm going to use request param as well. So either you can use only path variable or mix of path as well as the request param, both you can use. So here I'm going to pass uh, country name, country, something like that. And uh, this would be the string itself. So string country. And uh, while preparing this big message, hello username, you are this much old. And you are from and here we can print the country name right so let me deploy this application redeploy this application again now i'm going to copy this uri url and let's deploy this application and here now this url i'm going to paste and uh, how usually we send the query parameter by appending a question mark and you have a country sorry so you have a let's paste it question mark and you will have to write the uh, query parameter name and equal to usm if you have another query parameter then ampersand then query parameter name equal to that value and if i press the enter then you see uh, country name is also getting printed. So if you want to use both query parameter as well as path variable, then you are free to uh, you are free to pass mix of these two parameters. So that's all I have in this video tutorial, guys. This code I'm going to uh, upload on the GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description itself. So thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.